basic. You can sweep it out, clean it, use a leaf blower to clean it out, whatever you need. This is my 1964 F-350 open road uh, camper. Camper's original of the truck, 1964. Uh, originally two-wheel drive. Uh, it's been converted to four-wheel drive using a 76 F-250 running gear. So it's got a uh, 390 FE motor in it, a C6 automatic transmission, MP205 transfer case, and. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Other than that, it's mostly stock 1964 everywhere you look. But, uh, want to see under the hood or? Sure. So, nothing show quality, just basic uh, Ford V8. Gets the job done. Classic vintage Ford dash, uh, add-on uh, under the dash AC in there, so vintage air. Style setup, I think it's a knockoff, I don't remember what brand it is, but uh, yeah, just basic, you can sweep it out, clean it, use a leaf blower to clean it out, whatever you need. This side, pretty basic coach stuff, I have my uh, shore power here to plug in to 120 volt. This thing doesn't require much power. Everything's converted to uh, solar and 12 volt. We can look at some of that on the inside. Uh, feel my fresh water up here. So I got uh, about 50 gallons of fresh water. Spend some time off grid with that. And uh, yeah, onboard propane tank. Got 19 gallons of propane. I can run my stove, uh, hot water heater, heat, and uh, I even have a propane lantern inside that runs off the uh, propane system. So This was the original furnace. It's just been uh, converted to storage and uh, relocate the uh, fuel tank here to the back of the coach. It said behind the seat where it originally was. Uh, onboard air compressor for uh, air shocks and just uh, you can fill up tires with it if you have to. So. Pretty basic uh, back porch. This is, I think, the most popular thing that people like to talk about when they see the rig is the back porch. Pull down back porch, uh, kind of controlled by an electric winch. Uh, and I can show you the uh, function of it here. So, back porch, obviously, sliding, uh, sliding glass back door here. Come out onto the back deck when you're ready to travel. I have a switch inside, but also just a winch controller here. ATV winch in the bumper. Then you're ready to roll. On the passenger side here, just hot water heater. Uh, original 1964 hot water heater, still works. Uh, this is just a basically external toolbox storage. Keep the 55 year old vehicle going down the road. Uh, other side, you can see the uh, just the air shocks there that the onboard air just helper springs. And then uh, the main entrance door. All right, so inside the coach, a lot of this is original 1964, just standard. Uh, RV cabinetry. Uh, we're not very organized. We just shove everything up in there for the road. But uh, other than that, uh, custom countertop kind of changed this whole side here to add more storage in. Uh, and then built this bench over here basically to uh, just make a nice place for the uh, 12 volt fridge freezer here. Uh, a lot better to travel than the original RV style fridges. Uh, 
they're not very good for traveling down the road and keeping your stuff cold. So. Uh. Sink with dirty dishes in it. Uh, stove and oven, original 1964 stove and oven. Uh, still works, cooking it all the time. Then on the other side here is just the other bench. Uh, I got storage underneath and that's where the uh, battery setup is. And solar uh, charge controller there for the solar panels up top. Shore power if you're plugged in, obviously you can uh, use 120 volt. Limited uh, 120 volt in here. We have a couple lights and uh, the power outlet. Other than that, everything's been converted to 12 volt to run off the solar system. Um, original fridge was here at one point. Now it's just the uh, closet. So a lot of extra storage space there. Okay, so this is original to the camper. Uh, propane uh, lamp. Works just like a Coleman camp lamp. It has a uh, silk uh, mantle inside. And uh, we can fire it up here. So you just turn the gas on. Let that silk uh, mantle heat up. And then adjust the gas for the uh, brightness. So you're never without light. Imagine it puts off some heat in here too, huh? Yeah, yeah, so winter time or something, uh, sometimes we'll fire up the lamp just for a little, little extra heat. Toilet, shower, kind of tidy area, but uh, gets the job done. And uh, bed. It's a uh, camper full, I think is the size of the bed, but uh, it's big enough for two people.